Welcome to another great car basic demonstration. This is for the SD7567 GLCD. I'll show you what it is in a moment. Um, but essentially, let me just rip through. Um, what it is, it's a LCD, graphical LCD. I've got a whole set for, for a project from AliExpress. Need a new driver. So this explains what this new driver is. Uh, the advantage of this particular device, it's two inches. It uses um, particular protocols, but it's quite sweet, quite small in terms of uh, its size. But it's an LCD, which means it's low current and it's going to it's going to last a lot longer than an OLED option. So I've got it from AliExpress. It should work fine. So what is it? It's a mono display. It's either black and white, uh, blue or grey. I've got the blue ones, about two inches in, in size. It's an LCD. So it's very um, bright, um, you can see it very clearly, and it uses this driver called the 7567, it seems to be from about 2016. Resolution, 128 by 64 pixels, and um, I'm going to show you the I2C interface, but it should also support the SPI, I've left all that code in there, and its voltages are, I'm running at 3.3, I think you can run it at 5, you need to test that. Logic I.O. is 3.3 TTL. Just be careful with voltages. Always read the specification for your particular driver. So, Great Car Basic supports all the primitives, um, supports text and pictures, etc. And uncompressed stuff. Okay, so let me just show you it operating straight away. Let's not... Um, let's just... There's the editor in the background. We'll just have, we'll come back into that in a moment. So what we got is um, the display there is operating. Let me just reset it for you. Um, it's just now the contrast is just the camera not picking up the full contrast on the screen. It's perfect. Uh, as we saw, it just did some text. I wrote some text there, and then it some some graphics. So it does all that it says on the box, and it's very fast. This is actually using a 18F at 64 megahertz, quite fast. Um, I've tested it on various different chips. Uh, it looks very good, very support, very very nice. And for those who just want to see it working, I'll show you the code, and then we will. Uh, I'll go into some other aspects that not everybody is going to be interested in. Okay, let me just zoom in on the editor so we can see the um, the code here. I'll just shut that down. So essentially, I've got the chip set up from Great Car Basic. Um, for those who don't know, you just say hash chip and then the chip type. You don't even need to specify the frequency. It will pick up the fastest frequency. Um, this is a PPS chip. Um, because of that, I need to set up the PPS. But in actual fact, I'm actually going to be using software I I2C. So I do need to set the PPS, peripher peripheral um, interfaces, to zero. Otherwise, you will find it will not work. Okay, so you need to set these to zero. Let me just, once I've done that, I can actually indent that. I've got some little documentation and here is the setup for the i2c it's very simple it's four defined you can actually get away with three just tell it it's a master tell it which port the data is on and which port the clock is on and you can disable interrupt if needed to tell it to, to set up the actual glcd we need to have hash include glcd.h, the type of glcd. There's over 33 different types. You just need to say type a glcd underscore type underscore st7567 and one other constant, which needs to be 7 or 6. Set the bias, which is the internal voltages. Uh, set it to 7 uh, on a black and white and gray, 9 on a blue. Job done. And that's that, that's the code look. Um, let me just change some text here so we can see it's doing it. And what we're doing is then just using the standard Great Cow Basic syntax for the rest of it to create strings on the screen, boxes, circles, etc., etc., filled circles, filled boxes, and lines, etc. This is a pretty intense demo. It's just programming it now. And here we can see it's changed it to demo 23, which is exactly what I had in my code here. Okay, so I'll put that back to my name. 
it works. For those who are interested how it works, let's recap. Set up the um, set up the um, chip I, I, I squared C. Set up the GLCD with these couple of um, defines, and then you can invert the GLCD um, if you want to. It's I've got it inverted here just for the camera. If I uninvert that, it will just flip it upside down. Now. Once that's run, I'm going to revert that code, and then I'm, for those who are just want to see how it works, drop off. The rest of this is actually a technical discussion on uh, the I squared C interface. It's upside down. There we go. Great. And it operates upside down. Fancy that. Great. Let's go back to PowerPoint. I've shown you uh, using microchips um, I squared C software. So that's a software implementation of I squared C. However, the um, I have tested this across a whole range of chips, um, LGT, AVRs, and PICs. And unfortunately, I cannot get this to work on hardware I squared C on the chips shown here, K K42, K47, K83, Q41, and, and any other Q series, essentially. It's not an issue with the code. It's an issue with the setup, which I'm trying to resolve. Let's look at the problem. What I'm going to do, in the, I'm going to revert the code here, and I'm going to change the code to hardware SPI. Now, before I compile this code, oh, sorry, I just need to uncomment that and comment that and all it will do is turn on the hardware SPI uh, I squared C for me let's see how it's working so what we're going to do we're actually going to look at um, a debug of what's going on inside of the, on the I squared C bus so if I start that and I'm capturing data and using Sally logic stop that I will see a lot of protocols, and that is the I squared C protocol. It is talking away. We know it's working because we can see it working. But there's an oddity in this chip on the implementation of the S, this ST7567. The oddity is, is that it's not responding correctly or as expected, and it is getting rejected by the later I squared C modules by microchip, and I'm trying to resolve it. So let's have a look what's going on. We're going to look at one transaction. And essentially, it has three pieces of data. It has a piece of data that says, find the address 7E, write some data, and then write a value. And that's the way it does it. Uh, essentially, this might be uh, an update to the position or the pixel count. It doesn't really matter, but this is one transaction. We have a start and a stop. So the first thing we have to we notice is that the NAC is a constant and that knack is happening all the time it does not knack it does not acknowledge the data transmission and this stumped me for mm, at least eight hours if we look at it correctly we can see we get a start signal we get eight the we get the eight um, pieces of data going out to the address 7e and then we get the ninth which is it's in, in, intendedly going to be for the ACK or knack and what happens is that the chip responds with a knack, a knack after the end of the signal has ceased. So something is not dropping the line correctly. Now, this isn't implementation. This is across all the devices I have. Um, I've got various different pieces of equipment um, set up to test this, and I see this issue continually. Now, it doesn't. It's not an issue with the MSPP I squared C's. They all work fine because they they relatively can ignore the um, the NAC signal, uh, but the Q will ignore will actually error out and just retry. So we can see we got data, but we can see we have an issue here that the uh, the the acknowledge is actually coming after the end of the signal. Let's look at another trans another byte going out. We'll look at this byte here. 
we look at the end of the zero zero here it is we can see the line the acknowledge coming through something's dropping the line and it is the st7567 so we know it works because essentially the software is ignoring the NAC and it's just throwing data at the GLCD let's go back and compile some code with um, hardware I squared C. So I squared uh, hardware I squared C. What are we going to need? We're going to need some PPS. Well, here's the PPS. It's set up by um, a conditional define. That's fine, and it works. We're going to see it working. Oh, but we're well, not going to see the display work. But we're going to see the protocol working. And if I do the same to recap on any other MSSP I squared C implementation by Microchip, it works fine. I just need to know how to get around it for these particular chips. So, assuming that this is correct, because it is, I'm going to compile it up. Compile that up. Oh, of course. I'm going to have to tell the compiler to ignore the fact that I'm using software. I've got a trap in it to stop to make sure that um, I've added a trap in here to ensure that until it's resolved, our users don't get stuck in a, a bit of a hole like I did for eight hours. It will now compile it without the error message. It's now loading that up. Fine. And if I show you the display goes through the reset sequence, it just doesn't get an update. But you may say, well, it's not communicating. Well, it's trying to. So let's have a look at the screen. Let's do a capture. It's capturing some data. There's no data. Let me just turn the power off. I'm using the pit kit too to power it up. A bit naughty, never mind, eh? Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. It's locking up before I even get there. Fine, there we go. Uh, my issue there was it had locked up even before I had powered it up. So here we go. This is now using hardware I square C from the specific module I squared C on a Q71. Um here you go. 70 NAC. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't get any nothing is happening on the line. Well if it is, it's happening afterwards. And I'm getting a knack inside of the software. Therefore, the next piece of data that gets sent to it is a 7E. And the next after that is a 7E. And the next after that is a 7E. And it carries on retrying to send the same piece of data because it's been unsuccessful. Because of the knack, what I need to know is how can I make the new-ish I squared C module from the PICS ignore the knack so I can still send data out because it just carries on and on and on until it locks up the bus okay um, it's just not sending anything out so there are there is data going out let me reassure you um, I can show you the library let me go into the library Here's the library. Let me just think how to show you. Oh, here's the right command line. It says for the software I, I squared C, send an address, send a value of zero, zero, send some bytes. Okay, and that's what we saw. If it's on um, hardware, send out the same address, send a zero, send the same piece of data. So we can see it failing. What I need to know is why and how I can ignore it. I've been through all the variables I can in terms of trying to understand the issue. Um, I'm a little bit stumped. Hence, in the compiler, I've added in the um, error message 
for these particular chips that says if it's a GLCD ST7567 and you're using um, hardware I squared C and you've got this bit inside the code which is very specific to the um, the new module of the I squared C for microchip then error out and say just use the software so I'd like some help please um, to resolve this from microchip um, but uh, generally most people can drop off uh, as I said earlier on so there we go I did a demo job done thank you enjoy